Scientists made a robotic monkey. They placed it close to other monkeys, but were shocked at what happened to the group when the little robot monkey accidentally fell off and a mysterious ritual broke out. What is it? Keep watching to find out. These little creatures are Langer monkeys, and some of the kindest, lovable goofs in the entire world. In a temple in Rajasthan, a group of scientists built a small baby Langer monkey. They then placed it among the group of Langers at the temple. The hidden feature? The monkey had a camera in one eye. After waiting a while, one of the Langers noticed the baby perched up on a tree branch. This female walked over and observed it for a little while, then she quickly grabbed him and brought the entire group to say hello. After they all got acquainted, there was one who wanted to babysit the helpless baby. In an attempt to save it, she pulled him off the branch and the motionless robot fell to the ground. The Langers were horrified. The mother could barely move. She then mustered the courage to go down and see if the little guy was still alive. Since it was a robot, they all believed the monkey didn't survive the fall, but the group gathered around him to mourn the loss. You can clearly see that they're all sad. One of them almost cried. Now check out these pilot whales. Langer monkeys are not the only mammals that mourn the loss of their young. Pilot whales have been known to do the very same thing. In a documentary called Blue Planet 2 with David Attenborough, they managed to capture a mama pilot whale who gave birth to a stillborn. Not being able to get over the loss, she's been carrying the little guy everywhere she went. The rest of the whales just watched her as the mother gracefully floated in and out of the water. Sir Attenborough claimed that it's possible her young died because of the mother's milk. You see, it's not uncommon for large predators like the pilot whales to have a buildup of industrial chemicals inside their bodies. This will contaminate the milk, and the baby has practically no chance for survival. The next marine animal is the dolphin. Just like any other mammals, dolphins mourn the loss of their babies. Because the mortality rate of baby dolphins stands at around 40%, the mothers and the calves form a special bond, and they smash that like button, just like you should if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, the mother and the calf stay together for the first three to five years of the calf's life. But as we've said, four out of every 10 calves will not survive the first few days after birth. For example, researchers at the Kumbana Bay filmed a mother named Cracker mourning her stillborn. During the mourning period, which lasts roughly a week, the mama dolphin will not eat and will have a problem sleeping. At this point, she'll be very vulnerable, increasing her risks of being picked off by predators. But the bottom line is simple. The rest of the mothers will keep her company, protecting her against predators if necessary. And this is how a crow mourns. Researchers at Deep Look found a dead crow. They took that crow and decided to perform a little experiment. Knowing that crows are probably the most intelligent birds in the world, they decided to place a mask on one of the researchers and let her walk in the park where most of the crows were located. As soon as the scout saw her, he sounded the alarm. Caws and shrieks were heard from atop the trees. Flocks of crows mourned, but they were also on high alert. They knew something was wrong. They did the same thing with pigeons, but they didn't seem to care. Then the female researcher returned to the park yet again. This time, she wasn't wearing a mask. She just held a bag of treats that she distributed to the birds, and they took the peanuts. Later that day, the lady came back with the mask, and all of them immediately started cawing out of fear. They remembered. And when you have memory, it's not a far leap from there to intelligence. If you agree that crows are the most intelligent animals in the world, type agree in the comments section below. Let's not forget about emperor penguins. In the bitterly cold Antarctica, penguins have to take special care of their young. One little slip and the baby chick could be done for. But the harsh climate is ruthless, even to adults. That's why they all form a huddle. This way, their bodies will protect the penguins from the cold wind by generating heat. The huddle is so efficient that some of the penguins actually overheat, and the danger comes when they start moving. Because they're so close together, it's not uncommon to see some of the mother penguins falling down and crushing their babies with their full body weight. Some of them fight to hang on, but some of them are not so lucky. This mother, for example, lost her baby chick. She's been looking for it and found it frozen on the ice. She approached him carefully and tried to move him with her beak, but it was too late. While the mother was crying, another female came and consoled her. Giraffes also mourn their dead. 
When a baby giraffe is born, the mother and the infant will form a bond that will not be broken for at least 12 months. This is crucial because 7 out of 10 baby giraffes survive in the world. They fall prey to predators. In the case of female infants, the mother-daughter bond can last up to several years. In case the little giraffe is picked off by predators, the mother will first watch from a distance, knowing she's unable to do anything against an entire pride of lions. Then, as soon as these giant cats have feasted, the mother will come out from behind the bushes and watch her calf's dead body. She'll stand there, motionless and shocked at what just happened. Giraffes usually never spend their time sitting around. They're constantly moving because this lowers their chances of a predator attack. But they can't do that while mourning. Rather unsure is the mourning of chimps. Scientists don't know if chimps can actually mourn the loss of their loved ones. They feel like that's a really strong word and the evidence is still insufficient. However, when a nine-year-old male chimp died in a chimp community in Zambia, the group gathered around him to inspect the body. From previous observations, we know that the group of chimps was very vibrant and active, but their behavior changed when they saw the dead body of one of their own. But then, one of the chimps that had spent about four years together with the now-dead chimpanzee rushed and screamed at the top of his lungs as he approached the body. Clearly, they get emotional, even though scientists might want to say that they don't. Up next is the mute swan. Swans might look gracious and gentle, but they've been known to attack and even kill people in the past. However, when it comes to relationships, they'll stick to monogamy. That's right. When a male swan mates with a female, that male will forever be faithful to the female. They'll raise the young together and they'll take care of each other. However, if one of them dies while the chicks are still young, the other will take care of the young all on their own. After the young are all grown up, they'll undergo a grieving period. They'll not mate with anyone else, and after this period is over, the swan will join another group and hopefully find another mate. Now let's look at the Laysan Albatross. A Laysan Albatross has one of the funniest courting rituals of all birds. This is what they do to win the lady of their lifetime. The albatrosses start looking for partners only when they're eight or nine years old. Because they tend to have long lifespans, this is not a problem, but the death of one of the partners is a huge problem. Scientists have noted that lace and albatrosses go through something called a mourning person after their partner has passed away. For the next two years, the albatross will not mate and will not be looking for a mate. After two years, they'll start looking for a new mate, an agonizing process that might take them several years to complete. And of course, the gentle giants, elephants. Elephants never lose precious time. They eat 20 hours of the day just because they need to get the necessary nutrients to fuel their bodies. Take this group, for example. They're all mourning the loss of their matriarch, who is 55 years old, and they're all just standing there, inspecting the body. She was probably picked off by a group of poachers for her larger tusks, but an interesting thing happens when you play elephants a sound of a deceased member. For example, Karen McComb, a biologist studying the behavior of elephants, confirmed that elephants mourn their dead. Because of their long memory, they'll remember a family member long after they're gone. At one point, she recorded the cries of a deceased 15-year-old female elephant on a loudspeaker, and the elephants came trumpeting back to greet her. This was probably the only test McComb probably felt uncomfortable doing. YouTube thinks that you should watch this video next.